these Melinda streams, the wine guys stay tuned for a video review of this beautiful Cava wine. Cava, a fantastic wine journey. Um, for me, I think Cava's are splendid, and uh, I think they're misunderstood in some ways because I think a lot of people end up tasting. Uh, maybe it's a gallery opening, maybe it's a friend's house, who knows, uh, but the lower tier wines of any sparkling wine category, and I think those become influential for some people because I hear people say, I don't really care for Prosecco, I don't care for Cava, and I ask the reason why. And uh, I think they get some characteristics that are not quite correct in terms of uh, better quality, really well produced, handsomely produced Cava like this, so proper introduction to this wine. Anna de Cordanu, and it's a brute cava and non-vintage. Love this packaging. Very, very elegant. This is 70% Chardonnay, 30% Barriada, 11.5% ABV, and a uh, really gorgeous, handsome wine to enjoy, not just on a special occasion, but to enjoy all the time. This is about $14.99 in the United States, so I think that's a really good price point. So in the United States, there's a great variance in state and region, so this could vary, I'd say, uh, $1 or $2 plus or minus to the $14.99. It's a fantastic wine. You don't feel guilty for opening this up on the middle of the week because uh, maybe it's been a tough week or maybe it's a great week or maybe it's you want to enjoy this with your uh, family and friends enjoying some beautiful casual foods, for example. Maybe you want to enjoy uh, uh, chicken with this, fried chicken. Uh, but you can enjoy this so many different things and to enjoy it by itself. I enjoy cavas and sparkling wines in a burgundy glass because the aromatic characteristic is uh, the full spectrum here, and I think that's the beauty of this wine glass. And serve this in a, in a flute if somebody requests that. But, and personally, I want a burgundy glass to enjoy my sparkling wine. And um, you know, enjoy. I enjoy sparkling wine once a week because I think it's too special not to enjoy a beautiful wine like this once per week. So on this beautiful scent characteristics on this wine include green and orange citrus zest, almond, white lilies, getting some minerality here. Uh, seashells and uh, additional notes of uh, white rose petals. So here we go. Take a taste of the wine, give some flavor characteristics, and then the point score. Mm. Beautiful notes of Granny Smith apple, Italian fig, Middle Eastern green citrus zest, pine nut, baguette, and seashells. I give this wine a 9.0 out of a 10.0 scale. Now you can think of this as 90 points out of 100 points. And if you like this video review, please give a like right here. I'm going to give more information on the producer right here. Subscribe to my video channel right here. I'd appreciate that very much. Celebrate. And uh, tell me how you do this and enjoy your celebratory moments once per week. And uh, do you enjoy sparkling wine more than once a week? Love to know. So, uh, and list that on my Twitter handle, James the Wine Guy. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Salud, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. And I'm on most social medias Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google, and Pinterest. Thank you.